The troubles are once again igniting tensions between the Senecas and the state. News 4's Michelle McClintock joins us live with the latest. Michelle. Well, a Seneca Nation retailer had his truck seized by the state. The state claimed that the truck didn't have the proper tax stamp to be on non-native property. This came a day before that Seneca retailer was in federal court over the new federal law targeting mail order, mail order cigarette sales. A truck carrying thousands of cartons of cigarettes was seized as it was traveling between the Cattaraugus and the Allegheny Indian Reservations. The truck belonged to Seneca Nation business owner Aaron Pierce, who is currently fighting a legal battle in federal court over the PACT Act, which makes it illegal to ship cigarettes through the mail. This is just another, you know, trying to put a nail in the coffin to get rid of all Native Americans. William Perry is a Seneca retailer who is also in court challenging the law. Even though he doesn't have a mail order business, he says the PACT Act has put many of his friends out of business. Philip Morris is mad because Native Americans started ma manufacturing cigarettes. That's what it really is. Shadow Snyder manages his family smoke shop. It seems like if something goes wrong, they can come to us for extra cash a little if they need to. He's had to cut 10 of his employees because of his mail order business. Our mail order shut down. That was a big part of our business, you know, but we're still surviving, maintaining. But you got to do what you got to do, you know. He, like some Senecas, believe the seizure of the cigarette truck on Monday could be another step back to the 90s when Native Americans set fires in protest in the tax battle. A lot of people are afraid to, to go do what happened in 92 and 97. But, you know, if you're backed into a corner, what do you do? Now here is the official response from Seneca Nation B President Barry Snyder Sr. He says in part, quote, the nation does not take lightly this overt act of state aggression against the nation and its people, end quote. Now U.S. District Court Judge Richard Arcaro expects to make a decision on whether Seneca retailers who sell cigarettes must comply with the newly passed PACT Act. They are temporarily exempt right now, and that decision could be made as early as today. We'll let you know when it happens. Reporting live, Michelle McClintock, News 4 Wake Up.